Freedom, I'm Judy to everyone, I am the Technomage, and welcome back to my review of Netflix Avatar The Last Airbender Episode 5 Spirited Away. And oof, this and the next episode are slow and honestly boring. As I said many times, the major, one of the major problems with the series is the pacing and time allocation, dedicated the time allocation of for scenes and which episodes actually got screen time and which didn't. And here in this episode, we begin with this Team Avatar discovered this forest that was burned by the Fire Nation, and they just How many more for going and going and going about how. This is bad, then Ang discovers that he has to go to the, and how we know that this to the spirit world. A lot. And where the he explains the swim. spirit world again so and again and again. All of this just talking about, about the spirit world. And once he finally connects, and his friends are also transported with him, once again he explains the spirit world. Again, like a couple of sentences would have been enough. In this room. Instead of all the display, oh, wait a minute, birdie. I am no birdie. Once she talk? I am the. What? Are you, what are you doing outside of your library? Ah, whatever. Because, and then even even when what she done, more ex, more exposition, more exposition, more exposition, and then again even more exposition because Ang just repeats what one she done just told them like five seconds ago he repeats it again. Then we have the bear spirit that transforms in its beast form. And they separate. Now, here is something that they actually did all right. We get some a little bit more of backstory for Katara and Sokka. Now, Katara was honestly kind of a waste because they only shows more of her interacting with her mother. But we already know how she dies. So we didn't need to see it again. Now, the good thing was about Sokka, because we have this. I'd hoped, when he really had to prove himself that he'd do better. That Sokka's father didn't have a lot of faith in, in him, and we understand now why uh, Sokka pushes himself so hard. It's because he has this insecurity that his father didn't have faith in him and that's really troubling so for Sokka this this scene this part this whole sequence was really well done because if I remember correctly they didn't show this on the animated series I think I may be wrong but on the other hand Katara we already know that his mother died and we already saw her mother died Die. So, uh, watching it again and further interaction with her mother, honestly, I think it was unnecessary. And then we have Ko, and then with this is in with Gyatso, which, by the way, did not did not happen in the original animated series, and it goes on and on and on and on and on, just for him to tell Ang that he has to rescue his friends from Ko. The face face stealer and Ang decides to go to talk with Roku because Roku was the last avatar that interacted with Ko. Now the other problem was Azula. Or here we have this. Azula tries to give advice to the Fire Lord, so the Fire Lord can the Fire Lord can support. Chao, who she just made 
an alliance with, and this just goes on and on and on. Again, here we have her talking with her, You're the best. with her friends, Everybody and then that. we see this part of, we see her insecurities, and how much she pushes herself, and of course the psychological abuse that the Fire Lord uh, has put her through all this time. I mean, it's, it's not just Suko who has been a victim of the Fire Lord Ozai, also his sister. And then we have around here we have another. Oh yes, now here we have her practicing and yes, that's it's for this episode. Well, that's all about it. And then again, as I said, showing Osai and Azula so early in the series just watered them down. Because in the original series, we have first Azula is introduced in the final scene of the final episode of the first season. Then throughout second season, we get to know Azula, how intelligent she is, how ruthless She's in a master firebender, an unstoppable force of nature. And then on season three, we see her weak points that she's mentally unstable, that the Fire Lord uh, psychologically and emotionally abused her nonstop during her whole life, pushing her and pushing her, while she, he, he also uh, mistreated Suko, and it was impactful because we saw it then after we saw all of the stronger strong points of Azula, all of her strengths and her moments of glory. Then we see her weak side, her vulnerable side. Here they just show it. I mean, in, in worst of all, they didn't show it. They tell us with dialogue, instead of showing it like they did on the original series, they are telling us through dialogue something that we should feel, something that we should experience, with something we should, we should watch. But no, they just talk and talk and talk. Exposition, exposition, exposition. So yes, this episode was just one long case of exposition. So this is the Technomage signing off. Thank you for watching. I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.